CV. And in today's video, as you can tell, we're gonna be talking about the Crooked Man. Now I have to admit something, I'm a little scared to film this video today because I'm like rarely home alone when I'm filming my videos. And today I am, and it's a spooky topic. So I'm probably gonna be looking like all around my house while I'm filming this because I'm a little spooked. So yeah, I don't have much to say in the intro of this video, so we're just gonna jump right in. So the Crooked Man is actually a creepypasta that's been going around the internet for quite a few years. And I find his backstory extremely interesting because it went from something so innocent to something so scary. Back in the early 1800s, there was a poem called There Was a Crooked Man. It's just an old English nursery rhyme that parents used to tell their kids all the time and it was published in 1842. Now here's how this old poem went. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a little crooked house. So like I said, this poem has been around for hundreds of years, and it was kind of like a fun little bedtime story that parents would tell their kids. There was absolutely nothing scary or wrong with it back in the day. In most of the illustrations, it shows this old man hunched over walking down the road. He looks crooked because of the way his body and limbs are bent. One legend suggests that this nursery rhyme was written about the village of Lavenham in England. It's known for its multicolored houses that lean in irregular angles as if they are supporting each other. So people literally nicknamed this town the Crooked Village and that's where people think this poem was inspired by. And just a fun fact, apparently there was a poet back in the day that used to live in this village and that poet actually wrote the poem Twinkle Twinkle Little Star which we all know very very well. So I guess a lot of poets came from this town. I mean, to me, this town looks a lot like it came right out of a storybook or a Dr. Seuss illustration, and I feel like it would be so cool to go there in person to see everything, because you don't often see towns that are literally crooked. Just watch out for the crooked man if you ever go there. So let's talk about how this old nursery rhyme turned into such a scary creepypasta. They say that if you recite this poem out loud, it will summon a demonic force known as the crooked man. So basically, once you recite this poem out loud, the crooked man is coming to get you. This creepypasta has its own version of the history of this poem. Apparently back in the 1800s, there was this writer who was researching a whole bunch of folklores and urban legends, and he discovered some lines of verses that occurred in dozens of different cultures and in dozens of different languages, all referring to the same thing. They called it the Crooked Man. So he found out that in dozens of cultures, they had the same sort of creature called the Crooked Man. So this old creepy summoning poem of the Crooked Man was translated to English, and then it was turned into a nursery rhyme by accident. It just became this innocent little rhyme that children were reading and saying. And with that, the Crooked Man was unleashed upon the world. And by the time anyone realized what was happening, the Crooked Man was too Real and it was already too late. In my research, I found a warning on a lot of the websites that says, once you have summoned the crooked man, he cannot be stopped. You cannot hide and you cannot run. He's coming for you. There is no order, no rhyme, no reason. Wherever there is darkness, he will be there. If you read this poem, you have been cursed by the crooked man. So apparently the first poem that I read you guys was the OG nursery rhyme from the 1800s. But in this creepypasta, the rhyme is a little bit different. So I'm gonna read the creepypasta version of the poem that makes him come into my house. And don't worry, he only comes for you if you physically read it out loud. If you're just listening to it or reading it, you're totally fine. So if you're watching right now, don't worry, you're totally fine, it's just me <laughs> that could be in danger. <laughs> so here's the alternate version of the crooked man's poem. It starts the same as the other one. There was a crooked man who walked a crooked mile and he found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat who caught a crooked mouse and they all lived together in a crooked little house. But the crooked man was sad 
And once he had a thought, why should he be crooked when others they were not? Everything was worthless. He heaved a great big sigh. He didn't want to live life crooked, so he left the world and died. Now the story is not yet over, for this tale is myth and old. Go hide under the cover, there's something not yet told. For if you've read this poem, it's already too late. The crooked man will find you, and you can't escape your fate. So, uh, I'm just looking around my house right now, hoping he's not coming for me. I'm literally home alone. <clears throat> So. <laughs> now I've read like three other versions of this poem, so I'm not really sure which one is the correct one. So if you were listening to that and you're like, Jesse, I've heard a different version, that is why. There are kind of a bunch on the internet. But yeah, according to the legend, uh, he's now gonna come for me, so. Uh. Now, if you guys have ever seen the Conjuring movies, in the Conjuring 2, they actually had the Crooked Man appear in one of the scenes. And in case you haven't seen the Conjuring 2, I'll just briefly talk about the plot. In 1977, Paramount investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren travel to London, England, where single mother Peggy Hawkson believes that something evil is in her home. When Peggy's youngest daughter starts showing signs of possession, Ed and Lorraine attempt to help the besieged girl, only to find themselves targeted by the malicious spirits. And one of those malicious spirits in the movie is the Crooked Man. Now, in this Conjuring universe, the Crooked Man actually haunts a very old-fashioned toy called a Zotrope. It was invented in the early 1800s and is a cylinder band covered in images on the inside. And when you spin the cylinder with your fingers, the pictures start blurring together and gives it an illusion that they are moving. Now, they didn't have movies and stuff back then, so this really cool device was so interesting to them. So actually, in 1866, the toy company Milton Bradley turned this version into a kid's toy. They made one with replaceable picture strips so that kids could choose what they wanted to see move. Well, in this Conjuring 2 movie, there was a Zotrope toy that showed a crooked man walking along when you spun it. And whenever you played with this toy, the crooked man would be summoned. The film portrayed him in a pretty creepy way with little black beady eyes and a huge mouth with sharp teeth. And apparently the Crooked Man is supposed to have his own movie in the next couple years, which would be so cool. I don't think they've begun filming it, especially because of what's happening in the world right now, but I did find a brief summary of what the movie's gonna be about. In 1980, a young mother buys a Zotrope for her seven-year-old daughter to cope with the death of her husband. Unfortunately for them, the dark spirit that inhabits the toy doesn't play nice. So like I said, it seems like the crooked man comes along with this toy. The spirit is like haunting the toy. So yeah, cannot wait for that movie to come out. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If I missed any really cool facts about the crooked man, definitely comment them down below. And if you have any other really cool urban legends that you want me to cover, you can also comment that down below as well. And also just a reminder, we have so many different cool new necklaces on the website. If you guys are interested, I will link it down below. But I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!